Go woke, go broke. Check out the screen behind me. Boom. Here's Southwest stock right now. Can you see that? Here's the stock of Southwest Airlines. It had a massive plummet at the beginning of the day, pre-stock trading right here. And now it's crushing, crumbling. This is what's happening to Southwest. Go woke, go broke. Hundreds of thousands of people stranded across the nation. Planes can't operate 2,000 canceled flights. And it's just the beginning. Now, fake news, disinformation, corporate misinformation will tell you that this is just because of weather problems. Well, no, national reporters who cover such things for the airlines are saying that's garbage. Verified Twitter users and verified reporters who follow the FAA and follow the airlines are saying this is insane. It was a relatively clear and peaceful day in America. Well, if you needed to have any question as to why this is happening, I give you this video from an American Airlines pilot. As I said, American Airlines is joining in on this strike. Here is why it is actually happening, uh, in case you had any question. Again, we've read the lawsuit, we verified the lawsuit, we checked where it was filed. This is a real lawsuit. It really is the pilot's union saying, sorry guys, you changed the condition of our employment, we are no longer working. And then now this video dropped today, watch. I've been an airline pilot for 18 years and now I'm facing an ultimatum. Not a choice, but an ultimatum. I'm being told in order to continue my career as an airline pilot, I must be vaccinated. Which really means I have to choose between putting food on the table for my family and my freedom of choice. Whether you believe in vaccination is the right thing to do or not, the situation goes far beyond health. We the American people have fought for freedom for 257 years. We go around the world spreading ideas of freedom and democracy. We help other countries and people fight for their freedoms while ours are being stripped away. You may think being forced to wear a mask or get a vaccination is insignificant, but when you begin to compile mandate after mandate and loss of freedom after freedom, it becomes very significant. As each thing is taken away, we face what is known as the shifting baseline syndrome. This syndrome changes our idea of a new and acceptable normal. Soon, we will not remember what it was like to have the freedoms we once did. Our children and our grandchildren will experience less freedom, and they won't have the privilege or the pleasure to enjoy the same choices our parents had or that we have. If we give in to these mandates and we do not stand up for our freedom of choice, we dishonor every armed service person over the last 257 years. A disservice to the people who have fought and bled for the very freedoms we enjoy. Whether you believe in vaccination or not, I'm standing up for your freedom of choice. You may support the vaccine mandates because they fall in line with your current beliefs. But if we let this happen now, there will be a day when what you're told to do will not fall in line with your beliefs. If we do not stand together and fight back in one voice, soon we could be told where to live, what job we will do, what religion to believe, and how many children we can have. Do you really want someone telling your children or your grandchildren what, when, and how they will live every minute of their lives? It's time we take a stance. It's time we fight for our freedom of choice while we still can. Join us. That is bravery in our time. That is bravery. This man is a hero, a hero in our time. Putting everything on the line and fighting against something, the prevailing thought ideology, the power structure. The prevailing thought ideology and power structure right now is government mandates forever. I want you to take all of it out, the vaccine, COVID, all of it, take it away. Mandates from the government saying that you must do this with your body, otherwise you will lose the ability to educate your children, to feed your family. Ladies and gentlemen, evil, period, evil. And such a great point there, wow. Libs, I am appealing to you. I am saying right now, to you people who march with Black Lives Matter, to you feminists who say my body, my choice, to the people who are marching with Black Lives Matter in New York against mandates, saying that an enormous number of black Americans are not vaccinated and these mandates strip us of our civil rights. You're correct. 
I will link arms with you in this moment and say, yes, I'll fight these battles with you because these battles are the most important battles of our time. What do our leaders say? Our leaders are celebrating the fact that they are causing mass firings and the gutting of the American industrial system. Watch. Sickening. Remember, this is a man who claims to be pro-union, pro-worker. What I'm about to show you will repulse you and will turn your stomach. These requirements work. And as the business roundtable others told me when I announced the first requirement, that encouraged businesses to feel they could come in and demand the same thing of their employees. More people are getting vaccinated. More lives are being saved. Let's be clear. When you see headlines and reports of mass firings and hundreds of people losing their jobs, look at the bigger story. I've spoken with Scott Kirby, CEO of United Airlines, who's here today. United went from 59% of their employees to 99% of their employees in less than two months after implementing the requirement. 99%. Oh, okay. So United Airlines fired 40% of its workforce, is what you're saying. They're celebrating it. He is celebrating it, saying that's a great thing. That's the result that we want. Ladies and gentlemen, American infrastructure is crumbling right now. Trucks are not driving. Ships are not sailing. Ports are not being loaded. Dock workers are not showing up to work. Shipbuilders are not showing up to work. Auto manufacturers, car drivers, flights, pilots, these things are crumbling right now. The America that you know and that you love is at a standstill, a grind halt. Expect shortages in the grocery stores. Expect the inability to travel over the holidays to see your loved ones. Last thing I'll leave you with. I have a friend who's a dock worker in Huntington Beach, California. He works inside of the Long Beach port. He has been texting me and telling me exactly what chaos is happening. He explained it to me this way. Benny, listen. These boats have been out to sea for 18 months. Many of these ships cannot return home with their cargo. It is more valuable for them to just sit at sea. Because of the backlog in the American system, our truckers are not working. Our ships cannot be unloaded. We do not have the dock workers or the truckers to take in anywhere. Imagine the ship comes into port. You unload the container. What happens to it? It can't just sit there in the port. The port worker and the guy who owns the port, the company who owns the port is going to say, no, you're not going to leave the stuff sitting on the port. You need the truckers to bring it to the interior of the country where you live, where I live. How do you think the shelves get stocked? The container ship moves into port, it gets unloaded, it gets put on the truck, and only if there are enough truck drivers. Well, now truck drivers are saying, we're not driving. Pilots are saying, we're not flying. Road workers saying, we're not showing up to work. Dock workers saying, we're not showing up to work. The people in the container ships are revolting. These people are rioting. You're not hearing about this, but these guys have been out at sea for 18 months. When your holiday season is destroyed through the ineptitude, cruelty, malevolence, and idiocy of your federal government, you know who to blame. You said, my boy Benny showed me the stock prices, showed me the comments, told me exactly what was going on. I did not believe the fake news. I believed the verified information that I saw with my own two eyes. It is Joe Biden, his illegal and unconstitutional mandate over our bodily autonomy, and then the worst of all, what authoritarians always do, starve out, starve out, deplete, and destroy the people who would stand in their way by taking from them their holidays, their joy, their family, their food, their very livelihoods. It is how authoritarians throughout history have wielded and controlled power, and it must not happen here. Thank you for watching. We are 100% independent news. Are you sick of being lied to? We certainly are. That's why we started this channel. But we can't do it without you. We can't keep going without your help. All we ask is that you click like and subscribe and share this video. It's free 
and it keeps us going, it keeps us growing, and it keeps us getting the truth out there to break the rotted corporate media infrastructure that wants to lie to you every single day, wants to corrupt your narratives, your truth, your story, and your very society. So support us by clicking like, clicking subscribe, and thank you, Patriots.